Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design That. Today we're going to find out if we can use higher temperature resins to 3D print a stamp that can be used as a hot foil stamp. Before we start, I want to say thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. As you may have guessed from their name, they offer a huge range of PCB services, but that is not all. Head over to their website and you'll be able to get an instant quote from a huge range of services, from stainless steel sheet metal bending to titanium CNC machining. PCBWay can do it all. They'll even help you bring an idea to a global market with their OEM turnkey services. There's even more on offer, so be sure to head over to PCBWay.com today. Now the reason I want to test if this will work is my hobby CNC machine isn't really cut out for machining small intricate letter forms. It is possible as I've shown in previous videos to machine small letters out of brass, but it's a lot of trial and error and just for making quick test prints just to see how foil might work with a design. I really want something much quicker and easier. So I thought about 3D printing my stamps. My FDM printers, they're not really capable of the level of detail that is required for really fine text. So I bought a Elegu Mars 3 Pro, which can print to a much higher detail than an FDM printer. And I purchased some frozen TR300 resin, which according to their specs can withstand temperatures up to 160 C. So this is important because I run my hot foil press around 120 to 130 centigrade. I have tested normal 3d printer resin it just doesn't hold up it just goes squidgy around about 90 to 100 so this first test i'm just going to print out a logo for one of my music labels and this is where i use my hot foil press the most if you've seen any of my previous videos of making of the cassettes you see that i incorporate you know foil into the cassette designs and also the vinyl sleeves this is what i'm going to be using it for after washing and just doing a normal post curing of the stamp i attached it to the press and heated it up i took a quick temperature reading and i did notice that the resin stamp it did struggle to reach the temperature of the heated plate on the foil press uh, this is set to 120 c i was only getting up to about 100 centigrade on the actual resin stamp took a few test prints and i was able to get a tiny transfer of foil but it needed some more heat so i bumped up the foil press to 150 c i was able to get the resin stamp to 120 by doing this doing a few more test prints i was able to transfer the foil but it was nowhere near as crisp and clean of a print compared to a traditional metal stamp which is what i normally use when i'm doing hot foil stamping you can see the the crisp lines that are produced with a metal stamp it really is quite different so I didn't like these results because well, they weren't very consistent and they weren't very sharp and I had to increase the temperature on the press to 160 centigrade to get the resin stamp up to around about 120 centigrade. I assume that these high temp resins they are able to withstand high temperatures because they are not highly conductive. So yes the high temp resin it does its job it can definitely withstand these temperatures and it retains its shape very well um, but it doesn't conduct the heat well enough to transfer the foil onto the paper so i wanted to try and explore ways to make the resin more conductive i had some metal powders that i wanted to test in a small silicone mold i didn't want to use the 3d printer to do this first because the metal particles they probably would have scratched the film on the vat uh, and also the metal particles they're likely to settle at the bottom and you're going to have to keep on agitating it and again you're going to probably scratch the film more so it's probably not really going to work with a resin printer but i just mixed up a small batch poured it into the mold and i just let it out in the sun to cure but unfortunately only the top layer cured and the inside was still liquid so next i just tried doing it layer by layer exactly like how a 3d printer does it just to build up the print so the metal powder it did bind with the resin but it was quite brittle and it's nowhere near smooth enough of a surface to be used for full printing as you can see with these close-up shots it was at this stage that i kind of gave up and been able to easily print my own 3d resin stamps but i had one last idea that i wanted to try uh, i wanted to try and coat the outer layer of the resin stamp in a conductive material now you could try to galvanize the 3d print but i was unsure how clean of a surface i would achieve with this process uh, and it does seem to be quite involved and complicated and at that stage i might as well just try and cnc machine the stamp itself a quicker solution i thought was to use some aluminium tape i had a roll of this sitting around i wrapped a stamp in the tape i pushed it into the shape as much as possible and i'm quite amazed by these results it prints perfectly i didn't even need to increase the temperatures of the foil press it stayed at 120 c which is what i normally print at so this is quite a simple shape that it's printing really what i wanted to test with these 3d printed stamps is very fine detail 
because that's really what I struggle to machine at home here. So I tried some very small text. I think this is six point text and this would be incredibly hard to machine this sort of detail on my hobby CNC machine. But the Eligu Mars 3, it handles the details just fine. You have to spend a few minutes working and forming the aluminium tape into the letter forms, but you don't need it to be pushed that much into it because only a tiny depth of the stamp actually comes into contact with the foil and the paper. But I was blown away by the results of this. It prints it almost perfectly. There is maybe one or two letters that did not print perfectly, but this is absolutely amazing. I'm really happy with these results. I can now quickly produce very intricate foiling plates at a low cost and time input. As these foil stamping plates only need to be three to four mil in thickness, so they are very quick to print on a resin printer. I hope you enjoyed this experiment and can apply some of these tips into your own printing workflow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.